Native Americans have a unique culture tradition of creating totem poles. Totem poles are large poles that are formed from mostly red cedar and malleable wood. They have carvings that feature symbolic animals in supernatural forms. Some of these totem poles even reach to be 100 feet tall and have very small, precise details in the carvings. Every feature of the totem pole holds significant value depending on which clan they are a part of. Wealthy and influential families usually have more than one crest. The totem poles can also be created to honor a particular event or even a specific person. During the selection process of choosing which tree to use for the totem pole, the tribes perform a ceremony of gratitude. It respects and honor of the tree. These totem poles can show the history of the family, their power, and their family's lineage. Totem poles do not necessarily tell so much of a story, but they serve to document stories and histories that go with the particularly, particular family or the clan members. Most of the carving has traditionally been done by men, but some women did carvings as well. This photo here above is the Alaskan Indian tribe's totem poles. The tinglings of the Southeast Alaska are separated into the Raven Modi and the Eagle Modi. When you look closely at the four poles, you notice that they're all very different. Although they look similar, the small differences are what keep them apart. The photo of the to Modi and the Eagle Modi. When you look closely at the four poles, you notice that they're all very different. The photo of the totem poles is black and white, but in real life, they can just be plain wood or painted in different colors, outlining the animals. The color of paint used for the totem pole represents different meanings. For example, red paint is the symbol for blood and war. Blue is for sky and water. The white color symbolizes he heavens. Green color symbolizes nature, like grass, mountains, and trees. And the yellow is for the sun. Lastly, black symbolizes power. The Southeast Alaskan natives each belong to a Modi, where each totem pole represents a different Modi. These totem poles all have its own animals representing the different families and their power. In the first totem pole to the left, the eagle at the top represents for focus, strength, peace, and leadership. All of this dictates which color is on the totem pole. So the artwork, by looking just at the totem pole, you can see what it's symbolizing. The eagle is seen as having the closest relationship with the creator. Lastly, the eagle represents the equality of men and women. As I said before, men used to be the ones that were most likely carving the details, but over the years, women have stepped in and done their work too, which is shown in this totem pole that each men and women are equally represented. Using the two wings of the eagle to represent both genders shows that they work together on this specific totem pole. Another animal on the first pole is a wolf. The wolf symbolizes amazing supernatural powers and great hunting ability. The wolf also demonstrates loyalty, strong family ties, good communication, understanding, and intelligence. Overall, totem poles represent many different things, each having significant value in their own identity.